The North Alabama football team is 2-0. and And now we'll catch up with UNA head football coach Chris Willis. Coach, another emotional tough win this past weekend over Alabama A&M. Back-to-back road games, 2-0 and to start the Division I era. Yet again, your team faced a lot of adversity throughout the ball game. And what about the way they battled to come away with the win over A&M? I'm proud of them. Um, you know, to see them going at halftime, to still have that same feel like we did at Southern Utah, uh, we nobody panicked. We didn't hit any panic button, so to speak. We we sit in there, talked about what we need to do, make adjustments. Thought defensively come out in the second half, and they played really well. And only allowed three points. Um, you know, offense we kind of banged up a little bit in some positions, but overall, great great effort by our defense. Uh, they had our offenses back, and uh, it's kind of you know roles were reversed from the week before when offense had defenses back. All right, Coach, let's talk about two individual performances from the win. And defensively, it starts with Maurice Burton Jr. Late in the ball game, when it felt like momentum was on Alabama A&M's side, he comes through with a sack, forces the fumble as well. And then he made several big stops throughout the second half. How big was Maurice for the defense? That was huge. You know, that was a big play of the game. Uh, they had the momentum at that point, and then hit him to get the sack calls fumble was huge. But he played like that all night. He had a bat, uh, batted ball down there late in the game. He did really well, and, and Jalen Daly, you know, had left the game with an injury, so he kind of stepped it up. And, you know, that's what we need out of Maurice. He's a senior defensive end, and we need to have that continued on. Great job by him and the whole, the whole defense as a whole. Then on the offensive side of the football for the second straight week, it was a redshirt freshman wide receiver stepping up this time, Jacoby Bird. Two touchdowns in the game. He had a great spin move and a run into the end zone on one of them. But what can you say about Jacoby's performance? Uh, it was great, you know, to score two touchdowns. That was a heck of a play to know, have the awareness to know which way to spin. You know, Jacoby's a local guy right here from Florence, kind of got overlooked. Uh, not a very tall guy, you know, his size is probably what, you know, limits him getting a lot of recruiting offers, but uh, we're glad to have him. We saw the potential with him uh, last year. He, he went against our defense every day and scout team and really showed out. And so I look forward to, you know, this wide receiver group is very special. You know, we're playing, if you look out there, most of the time it's four redshirt freshmen. So it's a good group to have. We're excited about what's to come with this group. Next up for North Alabama, the Lions go on the road to take on North Dakota State in North Dakota. We'll head to the Fargo Dome coach, uh, defending national champions in the <coughs> FCS. This will be a good measuring stick to see where your program wants to be when we finish the transition in four years. Yeah, I mean, um, we're not close to where they are, you know, by all means. They're preseason ranked number one, won six of the last seven. Nobody can really beat them in that place. Uh, you know, I think they've won, they lost one game in the last two years. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be a tough football game. Uh, we'll have to play our best. Uh, I would go down and say this is probably the toughest game in the history of this university and the existence of football. Uh, and people may want to say Youngstown State back in, in the day when uh, Jim Tressel was there, and I'm sure they were really well, you know, well coached and a really good football team. But we're talking about a team that's number one, this one six of the last seven. So this is going to be a tremendous challenge. Be a very tough game, but we're going to go up here and give it our best, and we're going to see what happens. The North Alabama football team on the road for the third straight week. This week, it's the Lions taking on North Dakota State. Be sure and visit RoarLions.com for more updates throughout the week.